On my journey around the sanctuary, I got to visit the African lions, Tiny, Kafara, and Kasanga. If you can tell me, Ricky, who are we visiting today? So these two are brothers. Their names are Tiny and Kafara. They're 17 years old and they've been here at the sanctuary with us since they were around 18 months old. So they're a real part of the furniture now. They're a big, big part of our overnight stay experience and they're the real stars of the site because they're the first cats that guests see as they, as they enter. And with them laying by the benches and by the windows, guests absolutely are taken back in awe at how big and how impressive lions are as they sit there having their evening meal. One of the other special things that these cats do is that they will roar away late into the night and into the early hours of the morning. Now one of the boys favourite things to do is actually roar together up on their high platform and that allows them to make themselves heard all around the site. This allows guests on their experiences to capture some great moments to take home of their time here with us at the sanctuary. <laughs> Now they've got very different personalities. Tiny is the smaller of the two boys at 180 kilos, which is still pretty big, but he's the pretty boy. He's got the nice luscious mane. He's got a nice square face. He doesn't have any scratches and he lets his brother go and investigate things first. Whereas Kafara is the bigger of the two. He was 225 kilos the last time we weighed him. He's got a few scratches from having a few scuffles with the, with the other brother. He likes to come and see what's going on. Whereas Tiny can be very, very lazy. Kafara is much more uh, interested in investigating new things that are in the enclosure. The keeping team often have trouble with getting these boys up, even for food. One of the biggest challenges we have on the keeping team is trying to get the cats to at least cooperate with what we want them to do. I've been over a couple of times today. Uh, it's only 10.45. Trying to get Tiny, one of our African lions, to take his uh, morning medication, where he's 16 and a half. He's uh, just a little bit stiff in his, his older age, so it's just something to help with his mobility. And he's taking the opportunity to completely ignore me and just enjoy the sunshine. Lions are famed for sleeping 20, 22 hours a day. Each time I come over here, I call his name, he looks at me, he might roll over, and then he completely ignores me. So I'm gonna try again, because he needs to have these. Tiny. Come on. Please. What's this? Tiny, come on. He's, he's got his head up at least, so we'll try. Good boy. Yeah. Finally. Good boy. It's all gone. We'll, we'll go back to sleep then. Kasanga, who lives in the enclosure next to our lion brothers, is another incredible cat. He's known as the Disney Lion by the keeping team, as he looks as if he's been taken straight out of the Lion King. So here he is, this is Kasanga. He's big and he's impressive. He's been with us here at the sanctuary since 2017. He's now 11 years old, so he's, in, he's still in the prime of his life. He started his life off in a circus, but apparently wasn't very good at doing some of the behaviours that they required from him. So he was actually moved to Woburn Safari Park where he lived with various females but couldn't quite manage the higher ranking ones. Uh, he did breed with some of the lower ranking females and then naturally as his daughters grew up through into the pride it became time for him to move on. So he came to us and he's been here ever since. I'd really like to ask you, Ricky, about the African lions in the wild. Big cats like Kasanga here. So African lions are an iconic species, but unfortunately they're really suffering in the wild. They're declining rapidly. Go back a hundred years and there were thought to be over a hundred thousand lions across Africa. Now there's only thought to be around 20,000. They've lost half of their population in the last 20 years, especially. One of the biggest threats, not only is their habitat loss, but there's conflict with local farmers over habitat, uh, over livestock predation, and also there's trophy hunting, which is really, really sad because they're such a beautiful cat. Thank you, Ricky. And thank you, Kasanga. <laughs> Join us next time 
where James will be telling us all about the most critically endangered wildcat species in the world, the Amor leopard. I think Hoga is definitely beautiful. There's a contained power within Hoga yeah, that I wouldn't like to see unleashed. 